Hey everyone, my name's Pupsker, and today we're going over five Warframe new player tips. It's just essentially five things that I think uh, everyone, especially new players, should know. So the first one is the importance of clans. Clans are actually really important. Here is the clan dojo. If you need to join a clan, and if you are early on in the game and are not in a clan, join one as fast as possible. You can ask around chat here and you should be invited pretty fast, I would say, for the most part. I do play on PC, so most people do get invited quite easily down here, but I can't say the same for like Switch or PlayStation or Xbox because, yeah, I wouldn't be too sure. So the clan is very important for many reasons. First off, as you can see, many labs. These labs contain important research for weapons, companions, mainly, and other Warframes too. So this one has mainly weapons and a companion here. So yeah, you need a clan. Clans need to research each individual blueprint. So if you're in a new clan, the clan will have to research those. If you are in an old clan, they won't. Because, you know, they've already done that. See, more weapons. And just, you know, ooh, detonite injectors. All those. See, I craft a ton. I need to buy more eventually. So it's important that you join in on an established clan. See, a bunch of items as well. Because if not, yeah, you might be spending a lot of resources uh, researching the blueprints for everything. It's not too expensive for the most part. Everything's like around 15 grand for just general blueprints. And then, yeah, things are priced differently, naturally. But as you can see, Warframes are in this one too. And then Arcwing parts. So yeah, it is pretty important to get in a clan, even if you're a solo player because, my god, yeah, see, my clan has, I think, everything researched right now, right? Uh, yeah, everything there, nothing there, everything here, yeah, research complete, cool. And last but not least is your railjack. Clans are required in order for you to build the big spaceship railjack. So if you aren't in a clan, you can't have your own railjack. And honestly, that is kind of silly in my opinion, but yeah, the game clearly has clan locked a lot of things, so it's not too surprising. The game is very big on community, so you definitely have to join a clan. But ton of clans allow players like me that don't really talk too much and just kind of play the game, right? It's not too surprising. Beautiful. My second tip is exactly how free to play is Warframe. Well, almost everything in Warframe has a price tag that you can pay. You know, spend 50 platinum here and then I can skip two days and 14 hours. So it's more pay to convenience than pay to win. You can buy boosters, which are probably one of the most important things to buy. Just because if you just want to grind for a day, sometimes it's good to get a 3-day booster. Or if you're on vacation or something, might be good to get a 30-day booster if you have the Platinum. Other than that, people sometimes like to buy Warframes, like to buy packs, like to buy everything. But you don't have to because all of the Warframes and Companions, mostly everything in the game that is, you know, important to get, is free if you know what you're doing but you can definitely pay for it to skip time but generally in warframe you pay for beauty and cosmetics and convenience but the one thing i would say is very important to buy in warframe is equipment slots and warframe slots so as you can see here you only have so many warframes and then warframe slots you have to spend platinum to buy these. They're also given out in events, night waves, sometimes uh, alerts if something's going on, see weapon slots. So this is what I would say is most important to spend your platinum on, especially in the beginning of the game, because in the beginning of the game, you do not have a ton of slots. Yeah, I'm just spending platinum here. It doesn't really matter too much because 
yeah, beginning of the game, they give you some platinum, so that's what I would always recommend you spend that on. But other than that, you don't really have to buy anything in the game, and even things that you can buy will eventually drop from events, alerts, and just other general things in the game. And Nightwave is just such a good way to get items as well, because look at everything that drops. Warframe slot, and these are just slots amongst other things. Items, weapons, mods, Kuva, reactors. I think there's weapon slots somewhere in here, but maybe just the Warframe slots. Oh yeah, there it is. Weapon slots early in the beginning, like... There's always ways to get them, so if you play for a while, you'll collect everything. But generally, it is a really free-to-play game. Next up is just information and the Warframe wiki. Generally, you can get a lot of information in here. Codex, these are quests. It tells you how you can get the quests if you haven't done them like half of these. And then you can replay them, play cutscenes here. The Codex is really useful. It tells you where all the relics and arcanes drop, where all of the mods drop. Sadly, not where the weapon or warframe blueprint drops, but relics arcanes, you can see the drops for those. Mods, you can see the drops for those. And then a lot of information in general. Liberians to see beautiful stuff. Nope. Oh god, nope. No, 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 no. Don't want to do that. I'm not here for the Liberian. There's a lot of training. This is all pretty, uh... In my opinion, once you do it once, you won't need to do it more, but hey, everyone's different. And then just general mission information. So if you're ever not too sure, you can just look up everything, right? Defense. Yeah, it's pretty basic, as you can see, but it is what it is. That's why from there, you have the Warframe Wiki, which I would say is one of the best resources for just information on Warframe. You want to find out where to farm a Warframe, either YouTube or Warframe Wiki. You want to find out where to farm a certain item, what a good build is, YouTube, Warframe Wiki. Those are essentially the two big things I would recommend using, just the Warframe Wiki if you like a lot of text and a lot of information that way, and then YouTube if you like a lot of video guides and video informations, you know, like this, what I'm making right here. So the Warframe Wiki is definitely very important to know as well. There's a lot of information you can find out playing the game, but there's also a lot of information you'll need to look up. So, hey, that's always there if you need it. And then, of course, you always have in-game chat, so you can ask people in... Well, you can ask region, your clan if you have one, and then, of course, Q&A. And the, the wiki bot, the bot that's like on the game, is kind of useful. I don't use it, though, but you can ask it questions. Just be like, hey, where is this? And it can respond to you. Next is trading and selling items for platinum. I made a video on this a couple days ago, as well as, you know, just a ton of general videos, but you can actually sell items for Platinum. Generally, what people like to sell are Prime parts and Prime blueprints for Warframes, and then they just like general Iotins. Those, in my experience, are mainly what I sell to people, but you can sell ribbons, and if you want a general idea of what people are selling, you can go to Trading Chat. The idea behind trading is this, items have attacks behind buying and selling, the more that you trade in a day, uh, the higher MR you need to be, one trade per MR rank, and that's generally about it. You can trade in two areas, first off is Maru's Bazaar here, second off is any clan. <sighs> so that's generally how I make my platinum, I just sell primes, like essentially. That's the number one thing people are buying. Either primed mods or primed Warframe parts. I like prime blueprints. Because, my god, do I have a lot of prime blueprints and I could make a ton of platinum. Also, people do buy relics, but it's like a ton of relics for a smaller amount of platinum. So you're better off farming blueprints and trying to get Warframes I would recommend to sell. But hey, you can always check out Trading Chat, and people always buy things from there. I would look at a website called Warframe.Market if you want to try to see what people are generally buying and selling items at, 
just to get a general ballpark price of items. You can set it for finding entire sets, you can find unit prices, what people are buying, selling, obviously you'd wanna set it more like this, what people are selling it at, what people are buying it at. Obviously there's ton of people buying it, so yeah, you can sell it, buy it. It's not too hard to find people who are buying slash selling, so hey, use this website as a general ballpark, but you can always negotiate and trade with people. When I trade through Trade Chat, I usually throw them like a five platinum discount just because Trade Chat sucks. So yeah, and if I see someone in Trade Chat selling something or buying something I need or, you know, wanting to sell, then I just hit them up quickly. It's a lot faster. And last but not least, I just want to say the Warframe community is actually, in my opinion, a very helpful, useful community. They're great if you just want to talk to people, get general guidance. Like a lot of people are really willing to lend a hand, etc, etc. So always reach out to people in, you know, maybe Warframe discords. You can find different Warframe YouTuber discords. I'm going to create one eventually. I'm just, I'm not bothered to create one yet. Okay, one thing at a time. But the community is great. Q&A chat, recruiting, region, generally a good time to hang around in and ask questions and just, it's a very nice community. People, a lot of the time when new players are in, they like to just guide them around, show them around, give them general advice, and sometimes more veteran players will just like give you a couple mods in the beginning, just say, hey, maybe you should get this, just to make the early game a little easier, and then give general advice. So the community is a great thing in Warframe and it's a reason that a lot of people play, at least in my opinion and other people's opinions. So guys, that's the end of this video. Just some Warframe new player tips that I thought everyone should know if you're not aware of them already. If you like the video, remember to like the video, comment below on anything in this video, anything you want me to make, etc. Share the video around on Reddit, wherever else, Twitter, etc. <laughs> on YouTube, I don't know. And, you know, check out my other videos and my Twitter and Twitch. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.